Hey everyone, Jacefer with Treehouse by Lego Creator, set number 31010, contains 356 pieces, recommended building ages are 7 through 12. So here we have the treehouse, it looks like it has a lot of cool features. This is a 3-in-1 set, which rebuilds into either a lakeside hut and a farmyard barn. Here's some of the various actions. So here we have the farmyard barn and the lakeside hut and of course the treehouse. Looks like the ladder does go up and down and various other exciting actions. Well, let's see the parts that are inside the box. That's exciting to see. Here we go. All right, pulled out one instruction manual. One bag of bricks and plates. A 16 by 16 plate. Bag with smaller elements. Here we have a 6x16 plate. Another bag with various elements. Another instruction manual. Anything else in the box? Oh, yes. Yes, there is. Another bag with various elements. Looks like there's windows in there. A third instruction manual. One more bag. It is full with really small elements. So it appears we have five bags of elements. One 6x16 plate a 16 by 16 plate, and three instruction manuals. Now, let's take a look at the Lakeside Hut. Now that the Lakeside Hut is all assembled, we are going to be reviewing the minifigure, accessories, and the lakeside hut. First, let's have a look at this young gentleman. He's wearing gray pants with a blue sweatshirt. Looks like he's really happy. He even has freckles. Nice red baseball cap.
On the far left, we have a small little radio. It is the right size for minifigures. In the middle, we have one green frog. And on the right, we have a pizza. This element is printed on. Moving on to the lakeside hut. On the far right, we do have a small tree or bush. Here we have an opening into the hut. It does not have a door and it is only four bricks high. Nice overhang. Here we have part of a lake. Here's our frog. Some greenery. Appears that the hut is sitting on stilts. We even have some rocks underneath. Here we have a small pier that goes out over the lake. A nice blue flag. Here is another entry point into the hut. This does not have a door either. But we do have a nice flap style window. The hut is finished off on all four sides. Here's our small tree or bush. Looks like it's growing into the side of the hut. The roof on this model does remove. On the top we have a small chimney. It appears there is moss growing on top of the roof. One thing to note about that when removing the roof, sometimes these two pieces do tend to come off. Now let's have a look at the inside. Here is the inside. On the top right, we do have a map. This is printed on. Looks like this is a small table. And on the left, we have a set of cabinets with an oven and a stove. The oven door does open up. It does accommodate one pizza. And the door does close all the way. It is a bit tough to close the door, but it does close. Not much is going on with the other side. Here's that flap style window. It does open up. One thing to note about is that our young gentleman cannot fit through the door. Looks like he has to duck a little bit to get through. Or just set him on the studs. He actually does fit. Everything is the right height for him. Now you can chow down on some pizza. Here are the spare elements after assembling the lakeside hut. There is a great assortment of plates, some bricks, fences, and other various elements. These parts may come in handy to enhance the lakeside hut or other Lego creations.
Next we have the farmyard barn. Here we have the barn. And at the bottom we have a little wagon. Let's take a closer look. The first thing we're going to notice is the ample amount of space in the yellow wagon. It is 4x4 four four studs. We have various vegetation. Here is the map. I showed this in the previous build. It is printed. Very nice. We have the pull handle for the wagon. It does roll smooth on a flat surface. It is a bit large for our young gentleman, but it will work nice. Now let's take a closer look at the barn. There is vegetation growing on both the left and right side. Here we have some stones leading up into the barn. Not a whole lot of room inside. Here we have the loft. We have a small container full of various objects. One looks like a telescope and the other the small radio. Here we have a hook. lowers and raises. Let's take the pail. Just a garbage can with a couple of holders with the rod. Let's hook it up. This will work perfect for hoisting goods up to the second level. Nice red roof. Here on the right we have a small pond with a frog. I like the detail for the walls with the white and the brown beams. Really clever. Here's the rear, here's the flap style window, and there is a ladder that leads up into the loft. The ladder just stops right there. The barn is finished off nicely. Here we have a little rail. Now let's take a look at these spare pieces. As you can see, there is plenty of parts left over. Lots of plates, some bricks, a window or two, a couple of flat tiles, too many parts to name. These pieces may come in handy to enhance the farmyard barn. Now let's explore the treehouse. The treehouse is the largest of the three builds. Let's have a closer look at the little dog and wagon. Let's have a look at the little brick built puppy. Simple construction with plates and an arch. He has a holder plate for ears and a friction plate for a tail. Now let's have a closer look at the little yellow wagon. 
It has a pizza element inside that is printed. The handle does seem a bit large. It does seem the right height for our young gentleman. Finally, we have the treehouse. It is a very nice treehouse at that. So let's take a closer look. We have a few stepping stones that goes underneath the treehouse. On the right side, we have a little area. Looks like a bush. This does raise up to reveal a hidden area, which has a map. Very clever. It is a bit difficult to get the map back in. Here we have a ladder. It does fold up and retract. Push this pin in. Keeps the ladder up. Keeps unwanted visitors out of the treehouse. If you want to lower it, just pull the pin. Nice construction. Here we have a bucket. I guess if somebody makes it through the ladder, you can dump water on them. Although the studs rolled all over the place. In the front we have a pond. Here we have a winch with a bucket. Does lower into the water and raise back up. The bucket can also be removed. Here's the back side of the treehouse. This is nicely finished off. Very nice. Got a flap style window. A nice blue flag on the roof. Let's have a closer look at the deck. After climbing up the ladder, off to the right we have the interior of the treehouse. We have an area to store items. And a little bed. It is the right height for our young gentleman. Does fit in nicely. And on the roof we have a loft. He can stand up there and enjoy the view. And on this side we have a little telescope. There's the winch. Nice construction with the deck and the railing. Although this treehouse does seem incomplete, there should have been more foliage on the top. More branches and leads would have made it look complete. It looked like the tree was recently pruned. Here are these spare pieces after assembling the treehouse. There are a few plates, a connection pin, a few studs, a couple of tiles, and a slope. Not a lot to enhance the treehouse, but these pieces will be perfect for other Lego creations. This concludes the review for Treehouse by LEGO Creator, set number 31010, contains 356 pieces. Recommended building ages are 7 through 12. This is a nicely constructed treehouse. It is easy to construct and fun to build. 
does come with some printed tiles and accessories. One thing to note about that the tree does seem incomplete. If it had a bit more foliage, it'll look really well. Also, a brick separator is not included with this set. Since it is a three in one, I'm not sure as to why a brick separator was not included. It would have helped with the build. This set, however, will be perfect for a Lego city or for a Lego neighborhood. Thank you for watching.